Greetings Raiders, this is Vespa, and welcome to my guide for Delubrum Regine Savage. This video will focus on the first boss, Trinity Seeker. It should be noted that with the introduction of patch 5.55, which included new lost actions and metal buffs, some mechanics may be skipped if your DPS is good enough. For the sake of diligent chronicling, I've decided to explain all the mechanics as they appeared in their original iteration. So, let's get started. Trinity Seeker will start off with a raid-wide AoE called Verdant Tempest, which can easily be pre-shielded in the opener. Manifest Avatar spawns clones of Trinity Seeker that will cast mechanics for it later. With the cast of First Mercy, Second Mercy, Third Mercy and Fourth Mercy, each sword that Trinity Seeker holds will in turn begin to glow. The boss will cleave the half of the arena in the order the swords glow. Dodge these cleaves and then prepare to look away from the orb that spawns. This uses a gaze attack. Dodge the icy grid that appears below and make note of where the flower puddle spawns. It will grow bigger. Make sure you are not inside this puddle when the mechanic resolves. Mitigate and heal the upcoming Verdant Tempest and then pull the boss into the middle. Next, we have a telegraphed tank buster. Verdant Path with a purple glow indicates that you should stand in front or behind of the boss, not on the sides. Next up is Bell for Onslaught. When Trinity Seeker has swords that do not glow, this indicates a shared buster that should be soaked by at least one other tank but to be safe, you can have multiple go. This is followed up by another bail for Onslaught, but this time with the glowing swords, which indicates a single tank buster. Chains will spawn, which need to be broken by running away from your chained partner. If Phantom Edge is cast, you need to get knocked into the barriers that are positioned at the intercardinals of the arena. If he doesn't cast this, you need to hide behind the barriers. Next, his clones will spawn and circle the arena. Start close to where the first clone spawned and follow the direction that they went in, as it will do if it dashes. If the boss casts Phantom Edge, you stay in front of the barrier. If not, you go behind. This is followed up by another raid-wide AoE. Verdant Path with a green glow indicates a damage share. Have everyone stack behind the boss to share the damage. Next, dodge the line AoEs that spawn with the clones. The boss will then jump to a ring and cast Iron Splitter. Be sure to be on the opposite type of ring than the boss is on. If he is on the blue tiles, the safe spot will be the yellow sand, and vice versa. After this has resolved, he will cast Manifest Avatar, summoning his clone that will put three Earthshakers on players. These need to be taken out of the group while another round of Iron Splitter is cast. Again, dodge the line AOEs. Prepare for another Verdant Tempest, which can be mitigated and healed. Then Verdant Path with a bluey glow indicates that Trinity Seeker will cast an AoE in a cross shape. His safe spots will be the Intercardinals. 
Again, clones will spawn. Follow their pathing, but watch the boss also, as it will be casting its first Mercy Cleaves. The Icy Grid will spawn again. Dodge the Orb and the Gaze, and avoid the Expanding Flower. Straight away, chains will spawn. Break them just like before, followed by another raid wide. This is followed up by another tank buster, which is indicated by the red circles. Next, we have another set of First Mercy Cleaves, but with the Iron Splitter mechanics. Make sure you are on the opposite type of ring than that of the clone, as the Iron Splitter mechanic resolves twice here, once before the first cleave and once after the last cleave. Dodge the Icy Grid and the Orb Gaze and the Expanding Flower. Lion AoEs will also be appearing. Be sure to dodge the Icy Grid first, and then the Lion AoEs. This is followed up by another Verdant Tempest, and another Verdant Path. Next the clone will be casting First Mercy. Keep track of the safe spots, and watch Trinity Seeker. If he casts Phantom Edge, get in front of the walls. If not, get behind, but stay close enough to the clone casting the First Mercy, as that mechanic will be resolving straight after. Break the chains, and be prepared for another raid-wide AoE. Next up will be Iron Splitter, combined with the Phantom Edge mechanic. Keep an eye on Trinity Seeker's cast bar. This is followed up by the clone casting First Mercy Cleaves, and break the chains. Once the cleaves go off, watch out for the Phantom Edge mechanic and respond accordingly. Watch out for the Tank Buster, and then you have Enrage. I hope you guys found this guide useful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to do so in the comment box below. Thank you for watching and take care.